guys, I'm Des. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm in a robe because I wanted to feel fancy and because today I'm going to be filming my skincare routine and I was very inspired by like the Harper's Bazaar go to bed with me. You're going to see my kids come in and out of the room because um, that's life. Anyway, I'm going to show you a simple, a minimal skincare routine. Everything is cruelty free and the cleanser that I use is actually organic and it's very clean. Uh, it's GMO free, cruelty free, fragrance free, and concern free. Contains in organic ingredients. Um, but I have a very like simple, easy, not too many steps involved skincare routine because that's what works best for my skin. I don't like to use a lot of products because then it just doesn't it doesn't do well honestly so there's that uh, but let's go ahead and get this right, so starting off um, the first things first clear skin starts from within uh, I feel like that's just a very cliche thing to say but it really is true be mindful of what you're putting into your body make sure it's getting enough water and it'll show off outwardly um, for the most part obviously there are gonna be days where nothing is fixing it because that's life and um you know hormones and all those fun things um i have a very easy three-step routine for the most part i should probably start using anti-aging things but uh, i don't want to feel old so i'll get on that soon anyway let's just do the thing um so if I'm taking a shower at night, I will typically try to get off all the makeup from the day in the shower with like a soap bar, which is probably not helping my dry skin at all. But after I get out of the shower, I use these. I'm trying to use these up so I can get a more sustainable method of removing my makeup after these are gone, but I also don't just want to waste them. And throw them out because that doesn't solve the problem but these are the yes to cucumber soothing calming facial wipes um, it has cucumber aloe vera to cleanse remove makeup and nourish the skin it comes with 30 um, also I wanted to say that it's dermalo dermatologist tested made with compostable natural cloth FSC fabric enriched with natural aloe vera and green tea, hypoallergenic, oil free. It's also cruelty free and vegan. So, if you are in the market for some new, more better for everything um, makeup wipes, excuse me, try these out. So, I'm going to just start off by removing everything that I didn't get off in the shower because obviously we don't get everything off in the shower. I don't know why I'm cleaning my lips like that. Because I wasn't really wearing lipstick, but I try to be as gentle as possible, especially on the eye area. And it should pretty much come off if you just kind of press right there. That's why I like it. You don't have to scrub too much. I do like to scrub on the bottom like not scrub but just wipe gently on the bottom lash line because I feel like that's where all the gunkies build up hang away all my cares all the toxics toxicities and all the things that I don't need in my life so I'm positive vibes I think we've gotten everything out so as you guys can see it's not too bad but I don't know if it's gonna pick up but it is a little dirty moving on to the next step I will usually use this every single night I don't necessarily wash my face with this in the morning this is the Nourish Organic. I got it on clearance at Target. It's a moisturizing face cleanser. Children will always come in 
Anyway, it's a face cleanser. It's moisturizing. It's made from watercress and cucumber. It's good for all skin types, like I said. And it's actually gluten-free and vegan. And it's 1% for the planet. And this is recyclable. So, just so you know. Um, if you read the ingredients, there's nothing on there that sounds strange or is weird or like you don't know what it is. It's all very um, just clean. So what I like to do is we're going to turn on the sink. We're going to get a little water on our fist, a little on our hands. Um, obviously, have clean hands. This is very like runny, so a little bit goes a long way. Uh, I'm going to turn that off because it's probably an annoying sound. Kind of. Just massage it in. Give yourself a nice little face massage. And of course, because we have gravity, try to uh, go upwards where you can. It will burn if you put it all over your eyes. I did that, but you know, beauty is pain. I like to spend a couple minutes just kind of massaging my face because I'm crazy. All right, and we're done with that. We're gonna rinse. Matt's towel because he has a white towel and um, sorry Matt sorry hun if you get like mascara stains I should have all my mascara off I know so there shouldn't be any staining but I wanted a white towel because it's like aesthetic got our skin cleanser on and we've washed our face and cleansed it obviously um i do want to talk about the fab foaming bliss cleanser i use this because every now and then i don't use it every day like i use the uh nourish organic one every day this one is an exfoliator with bamboo buffers and it's a gentle exfoliator but um it's also a foaming face wash if your skin isn't sensitive and it's not super dry, you could probably get away with using this every night. Um, it does say that it's an oil-free gel cleanser, brimming with bamboo buffers and vegetable-derived cleansing and agents. Um, it provides a gentle exfoliate, exfoliator, exfoliant, um, but um, it's also cruelty-free and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but. I don't use it all the time because my skin is very dry and it's very sensitive and um, if I exfoliate too much it just gets dry and uncomfortable and gross. So we don't use this all the time but if I feel like I need a deeper clean um, for whatever reason I will use this. Moving on to the last and final step is a Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrator for All Day Moisture. I've talked about this before. I get the travel size because a little bit goes a long way with this product, at least for me. Um, and it's just, it's a very nice, like, feeling after you wash your face. It's very hydrating and it's just, it feels nice. So, I like this moisturizer. What's up? And you just kind of get. Look how pretty the color is too. Yeah, you just got one finger can do pretty much my whole face. And you're just gonna massage it. This is like the driest spot of my face. Like I said, go up. And then we take a little bit more, not for the face, more for this area. 
because something that I always used to forget to do because I was just a child and I thought I was invincible is to moisturize your neck. Alright, and that pretty much does it for my three step cleansing routine. <coughs> Did I say cleansing routine? I mean skincare routine. Obviously, dry skin does not stop at the lips, so I guess this is more like a four step routine. I need some chapstick. Hydrate my lips overnight because you're not going to be drinking water and you're not going to be getting any hydration. And while you're asleep, unless you do, I don't, I don't, so I have to do that, but that's pretty much it. That is how I keep my skin as clear as it's been in years. This is scarring and from a recent breakout. It's not scarring, it's just still, still trying to go away, um, but you know, like my skin, this has really worked and has really made it feel better. I don't use any oils or toners just because that personally doesn't work for me, but if it does for you, definitely, you know, everybody's skin is different, but here are just some products that you guys could try out maybe and um, see what it does for your skin. But like I said, it all starts from within, so be more mindful and conscious about what you're putting in and it'll show outwardly. Anyway, that is it for my skincare routine. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.